One of our uh, viewers asked if we would watch a Japanese women's wrestling match. And not just any Japanese women's wrestling match. It was the one that happened earlier in the year that got, you know, over five stars in certain rating systems. And it was very, very critically acclaimed. So we said for the, the good of Power Slam Live, we were going to watch it. And we did. So, Finn, uh, I need to ask you your opinion of uh, this match. The video that we watched was 55 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, That's right. Well, the match, the match was, I think, was 43 minutes and 19 seconds. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, in Stardom, June 12th. So it's between uh, Shuri and Atami Heya Shishita. Now, I've had to write that down. <laughs> and uh, I think, to paraphrase Gorilla Monsoon, it was tedium personified. I mean, it was heavy going, wasn't it, Kenny? I mean, when it went to a 30-minute draw, we thought that was it. Well, we actually, we knew it wasn't. But it went to a 30-minute draw. We thought, well, thank God that's over with. And then, and then, and then they, they, they did a restart and they gave them 30 more minutes. Thankfully, it did not go to a 60-minute draw. It only went 43 minutes and 19 seconds. But it went to a double KO, it went to a draw. So after that massive investment of time, time that neither you nor I are ever going to get back in our lives. No. Right? We didn't even get a finish. What did you think, Kenny? Uh, well, well I you... already know what you think because we were communicated on Facebook about the match as we were watching it, as we, we were enduring it, rather. Well, you, you gave me a heads up. I did, I did just see in the chat that apparently I said Scrooge McDuck, which is a, a new one from sort of certain... <laughs> ways that people have called me before but the, about the match you'd warned me that maybe it was going to be one that i wasn't going to love and i really did try and it, i think it was a good match i it was very well wrestled they they worked very very hard it just kind of went on and went on and went on and when the 30 minute draw had happened it was like great i can, that's fine I, I enjoyed this fine but when it, it kept going and then they're doing the promo and in the promo they had the fire of a you know pensioner and how they delivered that they wanted to keep wrestling each other, and then they kept going, and then the referee just oh counted them down to ten, match over. It just felt like a, a bit of a you know wet fart in a church ending. So I mean, what yeah. I can only assume is that that was leading to a rematch, but unfortunately, I'm tapping out, guys. I can't do the rematch. Um, yeah. But we we have watched it, and um, yeah. you know for that we 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 deserve a gold star. I say. We certainly do. Yeah, we we went the distance. I mean, some of it was dramatic. Some of the submiss submissions were very believable. And, you know, it was not dissimilar to some of the War Games matches that we reviewed in the past that have gone 40 minutes plus or nearly 40 minutes. And you can't fault the effort that went into them, but they just lasted too damn long. And, mm -hmm. you know, the end result of that, the upshot of all that, is that you just feel rather bored by the whole thing. So I think the match would have been a hell of a lot better if it was about half the length. So yeah, I'm not faulting the effort. You know, yeah. you know, you you absolutely cannot deny that these two are very talented, uh, and they, and you know they put in a hell of a shift with that match. But like with many things in pro wrestling, it's you know less is more, and you need discipline when you're laying out a match. And I think it would have been better had it been 22 minutes, not 43. And if they'd given us a finish.